Look, check the check the safe games. It only took us seven minutes to beat the boss. <laughs> uh, I want to actually check this. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. See, that's the sun. I'm taking way less damage now, since I'm a higher level. Cool. I want to know if I can maybe like open this door now. No? Feels bad. Oh you? Wait. Oh you? Not know you? Wait a minute. Fuck off. We saw that uh, thing on top, right? Maybe we can reach it from here, actually. Hmm. Okay, no, it doesn't look like that. I wonder... No. Well, we still made progress, okay. How did I get up here? Hello? Oh, it continues downstairs. Oh shit, but wait, wait a minute. Doesn't that mean... That the amulet is up here? How do we get up there? Hmm. Yeah, that seems to be... I don't know, maybe we get an ability to jump higher later on. Almost, uh, yeah, I did beat it, Dr. Mo. Almost cost me a heart attack too because she was too late to hit the boss at 5 HP and had to jump another round of swords, yeah. Uh, have you ever tried VR? Uh, no, actually not. I don't have VR. I actually did have the opportunity at work to do so, but I didn't. I'm, I'm basically waiting until everybody uh, says like it's super super cool. But so far what I've heard is there are a few cool things, but nothing that excites you for too long, so... Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Wait, was it even... What's over here? Oh, nothing. Let's see. 
Uh, PlayStation 4 has a ton of titles. I'm about to make that commitment now. Yeah, it's true. I played John Wick 2, the game at the uh, theater. They set me up in a booth with like 12 comments. It was so crazy. I know this was uh, random. No, it's not that random. Sounds pretty cool. I've also heard like that there's one cool racing game that's really fun. Fuck you! <laughs> How difficult can this be? Wanna be punched against the wall? Sure, but I think that's health. Oh shit! Okay. Is super fun by the way. I really enjoy this. Oh, I see those other ones. Also, to regenerate slower if you like use all of your uh, magic points. Gran Turismo? I don't know, I don't remember. I think Sweetie told us about it. It was actually not so smart to use magic points against that. Ouch! I'm stubborn, I know. But it feels like a failure if we don't do this. Okay, so this leads back up. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit! What? Oh, 
Oh, I see. I have to kill them first. Really? I have to kill every single enemy? Oh my fucking god. <sighs> I'm off. Amazing Sword is always summy, nightmare proof to be worthy of its name. Have fun swinging the sword and using the useless shield. Yeah, thank you, apes. <laughs> Have a beautiful night. Thank you so much for watching. There we go. It's probably still not good enough to get that treasure chest though. No. <sighs> Ouch. Is this enough to get that fucking treasure chest? No, still. Come here. I'm careful because, yeah, if I go to the next area... All the monsters respawn and I'm not gonna get the treasure chest. What? Still? Why? No. Hmm. Is there an next boss fight incoming? <sighs> Let me check back. I think though all the enemies are back and we don't really want to do this. Ouch. Oh my fucking god. you and what are you doing in a place like this? Adol introduced himself and it's like that he had come to rescue Mayor Edgar. An adventurer? Well if you're looking for Mayor Edgar, here I am. Adol, was it? Thank you for coming all this way. I was accosted by monsters and managed to lose them here but hurt my leg quite badly in the process. I was actually just about to hobble my way into the strange old ruins beyond here when you showed up. They're quite peculiar. I peeked my head in earlier and I must say I've never seen anything like them before. Adol, I'm sorry to impose on putting you even further, especially since we've only just met. But would you be willing to examine these runes in my place? With my injured leg, I feel what might happen to me should any more uh, monsters attack. But we've come onto all this way. I know it's rude of me to ask, but I'm sure you're just as curious as I am, no? So please, would you do me this favor? This favor? Sure. Well, 
We know that the evil guys are behind what's in those ruins. Uh, is it gonna be another best boss battle? Oh shit. That was just the mini boss before the real boss happens now. Oh my god. Cool. Really cool. <laughs> really, really cool. Oh. Uh. Oh, I have to throw fireballs, don't I? They deal almost no damage! 800 HP?! <gasps> Close! 800 HP, are you kidding me? Oh, it's random. Okay, I thought... I can't even get close, holy shit. Okay, okay. I couldn't... Hello? He didn't move? Okay. Hitting the fireballs is not an easy task, okay? Oh. For damage, yeah. Oh, if I jump, she actually throws it in the air. Interesting. Oh, that's also why this hit me. I shouldn't get too close. Hello? He didn't move there for a moment, I swear. Yeah, I know, Darren. I did notice that. Thank you. No, that was a little bit mean. I'm sorry. You just wanted to give me a hint. It throws me a little bit off guard when my, uh... When my, uh, MP are empty. <gasps> I'm just jumping out of reflex, it's not that I want to jump. Jumping there is actually dumb. Shit! Mm. Eight damage! We dealt eight damage! Amazing. This one went in the air, into the air. Yeah, I should. I think I should less move less. Ooh, bitch. possibility to train and level more there is I'm actually not sure we're supposed to beat this to be honest like look at the damage we deal uh, and look at the HP I think I think we only have to do a certain amount I don't think we're gonna beat this 
Not like that would be impossible, but oh. Pressed a little bit too early. What am I doing? Urgh, I didn't mean to slash. I think I believe, guys. Too difficult to watch. Have a, have a beautiful evening, Dr. Mo. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, the ones in the air are really mean. Oh. Autofocus would be nice. Yeah, it would be. Shit. <sighs> oh, the one in the air. No. Shit. And the one in the air. I have to, it's like, I have to stop jumping just out of reflex. Uh, yeah, but there, I should have jumped. Wait, how far can I go back actually? Can I like... No, I can't go, okay. I just want to know if I like can like actually dodge on the stairs. Ooh. We're supposed to kill this to be honest it's too much hp in comparison to the other boss can't imagine that yeah that was an unfocused one okay okay cool sometimes he doesn't move right away after a retry The ones in the air only again. He didn't move. Hello, game. Maybe I actually. Hmm. I mean, yeah, we could try to level, but I don't know if that's really the reason. Hello? He doesn't move in. I'm gonna load the game because he doesn't move instantly after I restart. 
That's bullshit. Um, I mean, we could technically go back to the... Um, we could technically go back to the to the village and get better equipment, to be honest. Shall we do that? All right, let's do that. And I want to see again if I can get the um, treasure chest here. Ouch. I have an idea. Oh, it's a riddle! Ooh, a ruby. Jewels unlock the true potential of the elemental bracelets. There are specific jewels for each of the elemental bracelets. With each jewel acquired, the corresponding bracelet's magic becomes more powerful. With, uh, with even a single jewel attached, the bracelet can deliver charged attacks. Additional jewels increase the rate of magic recovery and provide an overall increase in power. Cool. Uh, how? Oh, I, it looks like it's already equipped. Yeah, it's automatic. It got automatically equipped. We also deal da more damage no more uh, than before. Or even more? Ouch. That's bad. Funny how bloody this game actually is. I'm not sure you noticed, but there are like a ton of blood stains on the ground. Oh, <laughs> aggro! Wow, didn't drop anything for me. Nightmare blood, yeah. Hitting 
Bats is actually a fucking nightmare. Goodbye. Fuck you, bat! Oh my fucking god! Can you please die? Thank you. I'm actually gonna run past them because we're pretty low. And we're close to uh, the next save point, actually. Oh shit. I didn't remember this was so long! Wait, where does this lead? Where are we going? Oh wait, this is the place. It was that huge? Crazy. Wait a minute, let's farm a little bit of uh, health. We still don't know how to get to that amulet too. We're gonna go to the safe point first, and then we go back to the uh, village. But yeah, since that place was actually pretty huge, um, probably we're supposed to do a little bit more fighting because we do that one. Also check out the other way actually. Like what's up here? Where does this lead? Oh, okay. This is probably another place we will go later. Oh yeah, the batches are asleep, you're right. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. Also, give me a sec here. Okay. 
Okay, what's up here? Probably another place we can't go to yet. Still wanna know. Oh shit! It's actually a huge area! Okay, cool! Oh, uh, okay. Another area we probably can uh, go to later. I actually thought we might like get like, I don't know, a treasure chest or something. But this seems to lead all to all kind of places for later. Fine, we gotta check out over here too. Yeah, this is where the game started actually. The statue we talked about. Okay, a little bit of loot uh, at least, and a little boat from the boat we we reached this place with. Let's go! Ooh. Let's see what this dude has to say. Hey you! You got business here? If not, I think it'd be, it would be best for you to leave. Or are you planning to be a knight? I mean, you sure don't look the part, but stranger men that you have tried. No? That's what I figured. You lost, really. The Lord here has been recruiting lots of soldiers lately, and it's real easy work with great benefits. We're supposed to let them know whenever any apl applicants come by. Though, like I said, we get some real odd ones. The other day, this mercenary guy from the town came by, totally drunk off his ass. I mean, what was he thinking? He absolutely reeked of booze, so he had no chance in hell. I turned him away on the spot. Oh, that was the guy we met in the uh, in the taverns. We only slaughter what's in our way. There we go. We're back. So it can get even more strength, which wouldn't help in that, uh, in that battle, obvious. Does defense do a lot, though? Or maybe it does actually increase our attack, I can't tell.
Let's actually see, because there was another sword we could get, right? By equipment. Oh shit. Chainmail? So we could get the, get the long sword and the chainmail if we want to. We actually can't sell anything. Yeah, the upgrade was a little bit unnecessary now. Hey, Kane Dinner. I I'm sorry if I butchered your name. <gasps> Welcome to the stream. Good morning. Nice to hear. It's uh, late at the evening over here. It's, well, not that late. It's, it's still, it's uh, 9.30 p.m. Um, actually, wait, let me do this. Haha, -ha, we're so smart. Yes. Just Kane is enough, nice. So Kane, it's my actually my first playthrough, and uh, uh, I just uh, <laughs> I've been playing on Nightmare, uh, which is obviously a, a genius plan because that means. I, I will master the game in just one playthrough. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know the game already or played it already. Please don't spoil me if you already did. Uh, though obviously you can give some hints if you see like something I am doing wrong or... Hints is the word here. <laughs> no spoilers, hints. Um, Alright. We are, we beat the first boss, which was a sorcerer in the mine, and we're now up against another boss, which is has like 800 HP, and we deal like 4 damage to it, uh, which is really crazy. Uh, so we went back to the, to the town to get at least a little bit better equipment. Uh, I only know the first vice, so I won't spoil anything, promise. Okay, nice. I actually, yeah, this is actually the first Weiss I've ever played. I did some research and most people said I sh you sh uh, this is like the their favorite and also the best one to get into the series. Uh, they are also like uh, the Weiss Chronicles, which is the remake of 1 and 2, right? And I've read that people said uh, it's fine or even good to play those after this one. Um... Yeah, what really um, surprises me is that I can't sell the equipment, it seems, the old one. And there are like only limited sp slots for it. Maybe that will change later. Or maybe that's only the amount of armor that is in the game. Who knows. I take note, I wanted to go in the series 2 after seeing... Uh, the 8th yesterday. Oh! Did you wa uh, watch some uh, of the new wise? I did consider playing that, but I kind of thought I should want to play an older one first. Um. Wait a moment. Uh, let me actually do this. So we know the first one is a oh wait. No. Is there a way to sort this? Okay, no, there is no way to sort this. Well. Whatever. Oh, this costs seven to improve. Shit. All right, I guess then we're not gonna improve this, but we can improve this one. Or should I save them? Nah, I, I suppose we're gonna get more later on, so I think we're just, just gonna use it on the shield as much as we can. And then we're gonna keep those. Ding, 
All right, back to the cave. I, I'm really curious if we're gonna deal more damage now against that boss. Though, like, or is if there's like a, maybe a, another parameter later on for the magical damage. Though, as I said, I don't even think that we're supposed to... Uh, yeah, that wasn't exactly how I meant this to do this jump. Oh, wait, I forgot. We continue down here anyways. do definitely die a little bit faster though those enemies were not giving us any trouble anymore anyways Ooh, level up I'll take that Yeah, all right. Let's go to the next screen. <laughs> the battle system in this game is definitely super fun. Uh, I want to see one moment what's over there here. Oh yeah, there was a, a waste we destroyed. Ouch. I'm quite surprised that the worms didn't show up yet. God damn it! I hate the bats! They're so hard to hit! I think my fireballs do deal more damage because I think before they dealt 40 to them and now they deal 70 to them, but that could also be due to the level up. Uh, I need to use magic there. Yeah, fuck, let's just go down. That's where we have to go anyways. Ouch! Thank <laughs> you. 
God damn it! It's so evasive! Let's wait until our uh, magical points are a little bit refreshed. Oh my god! Annoying bits! Fuck you, game. Fine. We've gotta see it this way, we're gonna collect some valuable experience. Measure once, cut twice, yeah. Alright, here we go. We back! This is surely gonna go better than last time. Surely. I'm home to die more. Oh, cool. I want to know if we deal more damage. Six! Awesome. Totally worth. Shit. Before, <laughs> and I got hit by the first one like a noob again. Wow, really? Shit. Getting sloppy. I actually don't think she deals less damage to us. We're only using the boost to get less damage dealt to us. Vatily, a beautiful evening. Nice to hear. How you doing? From six damage to eighty is a large improvement. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we do deal a lot of. M <laughs> Shit. No time to be triggered, Sammy! Uh, shit. Stop throwing them in the air, bitch! Again, sometimes I can't move right away after the retry. It feels I'm like supposed to always get hit at the start. We 
We don't actually deal more damage when boosted, but we take less damage. That's literally the only reason to use it. Oh! We dealt over 100 damage, it's getting better! The start is fair? I feel like we're supposed to get hit the first time because I can't move for a little moment. No, this time I can, it's just a bug. Oh shit, the air one got me again. Mm. Oh. I know, I know, Seth, I know, I know, that's not the issue, I know that. I, I do know that. We already figured that out in the first round. We went against her. The problem is, uh, like, yeah, I shouldn't jump if she does, does the right hand move. Or from her side, left hand move. But uh, then I'm usually too late for the circle one. So I'm just always jumping. And she sometimes does the in the air one if I jump at the yeah. Oh. Mm. Shit. Shit. You see what I mean? That I'm just too late for the circle one she does but yeah it's again a about perfect jump timing Also, maybe it's just me, but sometimes I feel the timing is different. Shit. <sighs> the good news is, it started with the last boss battle just like this. Then I 
Yeah, I'm throwing this one right now. Like, I kind of feel, yeah, like, as long as she does her, like, discos, right, her, her vertical, no, her horizontal discos, I can just stay in a place, jump and shoot. Uh, but it feels like my reflexes are going down if I'm, like, not moving. Oh, shit. But yeah, I feel like less moving is actually the solution here. Only if she does the vertical ones. And I shouldn't get too close! Ah, oh, the air one! No! Six, six, six. Also, I shouldn't, yeah, I shouldn't throw the fireballs when I jump close to her. Like, at least too close to her. How did I trigger the air one again? Oh, I jumped too early. That's why. I basically, yeah, I, I jump in advance. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I have to stop jumping in advance. My brain goes like, yeah, I know what comes. Go jump. It's also surprisingly difficult to hit those fireballs. <laughs> that was too early again. Telling me something? Even for a nightmare difficulty, this finds 
fight seems really overleveled. Is it really your opponent at this stage of the game? Uh, well... It is our quest. We found the mayor and he told us we have to check out the, these ruins and uh, whenever we go in here this boss battle starts. So yeah, I think so. I'm just, okay, my hypothesis is, Kane, that um, we're actually not gonna beat this boss, but like maybe we're gonna uh, ship off half of its health, you know? And then something happens. That's my theory, because I also don't think that we are supposed to uh, deal that 800 HP of uh, damage. Because the last boss we had had uh, like 280 HP, you know? So, and that's not that l long ago, so I also think uh, maybe half of the HP. This is, that's my theory. I need to stop getting triggered from getting hit. Shit! Mm. Hmm. Because I think half HP is fairly possible. But just focus. Wow, bitch. Trouble with someone with 250 HP, 800 HP might be rough at this point. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I don't think uh, we're gonna. I don't think story wise, like this is definitely the next story boss. It's really close to the last boss, so I don't think we're supposed to. Like, I think something's gonna happen probably at half HP or something like that. It also, story-wise, oh, wouldn't make sense, honestly, because we know this is something the evil guys are looking for, so it would make sense that uh, we're actually not supposed uh, to defeat this right away.
Shit! Mm. Oh, that's the game that tells you that you have to start becoming a farmer. Well, I don't think it's... It's not like we did nothing, right? We did do a few rooms multiple times. We did go back to the village, get better equipment. Like, we weren't, like, crazy grinding. I don't, like... I'm gonna do this as long as... Until we actually, like... It doesn't even look impossible to me, to be honest. I don't know how you think about this, guys, but to me it doesn't look impossible. It's just about being focused, just like the first battle. No! If I get the timing on the jumps wrong, she does the discs to the air. So it's just a focus thing. Really? I got hit by that? No, I was salty. earlier that seems doable if you have some consumable for three or uh, there are no consumables actually in this game Kane so far the way you get healed is just if you like fight mobs they drop some health but there aren't actually consumables the only items you got for battles are like uh, there's actually a revive item it costs 60,000 though and it's like only usable once. Yeah, our, oh, our record right now is uh, 470. Oh my god, I need to focus! Jump too early again. Oh. I get really hard punished if I jump too early.
Shit. Jump too early. Focus! easy out of uh, simp here with the attacks. Oh shit, I thought the other attack would come. Why? Super bad. Hey, Verena, welcome to the stream. Nice to hear. I'm gonna do it at, at least until we hit 400 HP. Uh, because I, I, I kind of think it might be that something's happening then. There might also be another battle phase incoming, obviously. Oh, no, out of sync. Try jumping to her and going melee. Um, actually, I didn't because it felt like it would be impossible. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try that, but I I, uh, I couldn't jump on her platform actually. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like no, we can't hit her. No. We can't hit a close range, the only damage I dealt there was a fireball. I didn't try because it seemed impossible in the first tries when I was completely unable to dodge her attacks.
Oh! No! The air one! Oh, I see. Cool. So the only thing that happens after 400 HP is another battle phase where a tornado appears on the platform. <gasps> oh, super cool. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, hey, Prince. Nice to hear. A beautiful day to you. Wow! Uh, cool! Good that we know that now. Honestly, I still think I can do it. Mm. Uh, I'm just not sure right now if I want to like go a little bit grinding or if I, we actually want to do it like this. Prefer grinding. <gasps> the problem is I'm a very stubborn person and I'm not focusing right now. Which which means this try is pretty soon over. Ah. Uh Kane, thank you so much for the follow. Nice to hear. It's an old JRPG, not grinding scenes out of question. We're actually okay. To be fair, it's not like we didn't do any grinding. Y you sold Persona 3? Why would you sell it? Guess how much money I got? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's not like we didn't do any grinding. We even went back to the town and got some upgraded equipment. Like, it's not like we didn't do anything. And we're playing a nightmare, so you have to keep that in mind. It's supposed to be like this, and I love it like this because, like, uh, it actually feels super rewarding to it. But here's the deal. We're gonna go and up until level 10. We're level 8 right now, we're gonna go up until level 10, and then we're gonna beat that boss's ass. How, however hard it might be. Physical copies go for $70 up online. Oh shit, I didn't know. You got four, nice. And how much did you get then? Uh. Uh. I'm confused right now. I'm only used to uh, using magic and evading right now. What also uh, baffles me is that the normal mobs are really easy compared, right? Stop dodging! Oh my fucking god! Really? You got four dollars? What? Why would you sell it for four dollars then? Should I try it even like my father said? 
thought I'd just get an estimate. My PSP has long since been dead. I'm not getting a new one, so my PSP games are essentially useless. Oh, I see. I still have a working PSP, but I didn't play PSP in forever myself. Oh, but what am I doing? I'm still sometimes mixing up the jump button because it's on circle, which is kind of unusual. Wow, really? I figured uh, it would be like, here's how much you can get, Lond. Uh If it's too little, I would just take it back. And then you, you got convinced in selling it for $4, really? Oh my god. All right, it's not that hard. <gasps> there we go. <gasps> Can we actually see our experience and when we level up, by the way, <laughs> would be cool, I guess. I hate bats. I wonder if we can see that somewhere. Level 8 experience, 8,000. Okay, next in 1,500. How much XP do we get from the enemies? Oh shit. Not not very many. The orange bar buff the HP bar? No, that's a, a buff we got from a drop. Our XP experience rate is increased right now by 1.14% for a little amount of time. The orange thing below your items. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, the cool thing is the enemies respawn every time, so honestly, we can just uh, camp a room that we like to do. But honestly, the enemies in here don't give us very much HP to, uh, like... You. By the way, there's something... Is there something... Maybe... We still didn't figure out how to get that amulet, by the way. Maybe we tried to figure out how to get to that amulet. That could be worth our time. That might even make the fight easier. A lot of people... Uh, oh, hi. A lot of people, Prince, even I got one of three recently on physical, oh really? Uh, Varinur, uh, by the way, uh, did you play this game? Or did you, uh, which, which wise did you play? Did you play any?
Like, look at that. Like, I can't even see the XP bar filling. That's how little XP we get. Maybe that's part of the nightmare mode, getting only little experience. I played any except the news one. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't play, like, this is my first one I already said, so, um, yeah. But I want to play the new one too, I just wanted to play an older one first. Maybe getting a look into the series a little bit. You should search for a spot where you can find non stun every hit increase the XP again. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I'm not uh, right now I'm not I'm not searching for our grind spot yet. Right now we're on our way to a uh, amulet we saw. It's over here. And figuring out how we can get there. I'm going to try something which obviously did nothing. Maybe just jump. Uh, like when we when we came here first uh, first time, it showed us that there's an amulet over there. Oh, that was the wrong jump. Hi. But I didn't know what was below, so I, I figured we we just jump once and see what's over here. I'm actually not sure if we're actually gonna grind until level 10 though. Maybe we were just gonna go for level 9. Because the boss battle didn't seem that impossible, just really grindy, basically. Mm. These doors are so weird too. Uh, well, now I know the second and shards is just as bad as game stuff. These doors are so weird too. They're plastic wrapped and made to manga, but I'm guessing they don't look at all they stuck. Because a lot of manga that's eaten peach to church and just has nudity in, the, in them. That's true. That's totally true. Like, I, uh, which manga I actually loved when I was like, I think 14 was Video Girl AI. And that one has a lot of nudity in it too. Um, oh yeah, another idea is going up here. Exactly, um... Like, how do we get over there? Ouch, no! Oh my god. I meant to jump, because, but because I got hit, I, it was interrupted. Can I get jump? Can I jump over there? Does it hit me from below? Maybe. Not like this, that's for sure. Nope. <sighs> hmm. How do we get up there? Maybe if I just jump far enough from that spot where we were at, right? Maybe we just have to, have to jump far enough. I still want to try this one more time. Nah. There's no way to make it up there. I recommend only one level up, yeah. Yeah, I think so too, because we already need so much experience. Another one is probably gonna cost us more time than grind us through the battle. Uh, Varina, do you actually know how we get to that amulet above? By the way, did I check that spot down here? I think I did. Oh yeah, that's just where their enemies are sitting. Oh, with the next magic power you will gain? Oh, okay, so we can't get it yet. Okay, that's that's an important piece of information, thanks. 
then we stopped gonna stop try to get that and just search for a place where we wanna uh, fight enemies. Uh, I think the next room is kind of okay because when we enter that we run into uh, many enemies. So the bats are a little bit annoying, but we can just uh, go back uh, always before. I think over here we might do it. Though those probably don't give us as much XP as the um, as the, and we have to run upstairs, which kind of sucks too. And I can't jump down here. Okay, no, this 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 spot sucks. Also, the worms probably give us more experience, even though they're also more annoying to deal with, but that's how it is. So how was the end of The Last Guardian? Oh my god, it was so sad. Prince, I actually cried. I was able to contain myself very well. Tronsta didn't notice, actually, but I actually cried. It was so sad. Holy shit. This was like the first time I was so fucking sad. Okay, my next idea here is actually, what's if I fall down here? Yeah. I think this is the spot actually. Because now we can just go out and go in again. Yeah, this is a good spot. Ding. Fuck the bat. They all have sad endings. Yeah, I know, but honestly... Last Guardian touched me the most, Seth. Be probably because my affinity for uh, uh, animals. Uh, you did see the very last bit, right? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. It didn't matter because I was already crying at that point. <laughs> it really didn't matter. I know, I know. Yeah, cause it was a cute dog with wings, exactly. Okay, we got our level up, cool. Let's go, boys. We actually do deal quite a little bit more damage to them now. I cried the stupid subtle things when people try to make stuff super sad or like really force the set on the no just stone faced. Yeah, no, 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 it wasn't a forced moment actually. It wasn't. It wasn't even like, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want to spoil you, Prince. Or do you know it? Did you watch it? I don't want to spoil you then about the ending, I'm not going to say anything, but like, it wasn't the first moment, definitely not. Ding. 
Uh, we're talking about uh, The Last Guardian, uh, the ending. Uh, we finished that game yesterday and I was actually crying at the end. It was so emotional. Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, okay, you've seen the whole game already, okay. Yeah, like, it wasn't forced and it, it's also like, like, not the ending is super bad, right? It's like... Yeah, I don't know. Here we go again. We deal a little bit more damage, not significantly, but a little bit. Ah! Wait, is it random the hate? Because I definitely didn't jump out of timing, I think, and still got uh, higher. God damn it. Yeah, this first try is terrible. Pretty terrible! But at that time I definitely jumped too early and that's why it came uh, up high. She still deals pretty much the same amount of damage to us. We deal a little bit more damage to her. Like at the end of FF Type 0, there's a really sad omen at the end, like completely depressing, but I was fine through it, even though it was so bad. But right after there's a more subtle peaceful scene, that got to me. Okay, I see. Yeah, like, as great as, like, I love the Final Fantasy games, especially the older ones, and as great as those stories were, I think I never cried uh, to a Final Fantasy moment, right? Like, I love the stories, but I never cried to those or something. Like, there's in general very little stuff I cry about in, in games and movies. But but if it's about animals, it I don't know, it can really catch me. And, and Last Guardian, obviously, it was about a very strong bond to an animal. Maybe if you jump early, you can make it go overhead. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah, you're actually right. But it comes down to jumping at the right time again, right? Which, like, I don't know, it doesn't really make it better. It's just about, oh my god, somebody focus! It's just about uh, really jumping at the right time, no matter how, what way around to do it. Ah! Obviously, I'm performing a little bit worse again than before. Since we did a break. That was eh, totally the wrong direction. General jumping sideways works better than jumping. Oh, fuck you. Or does it really? No, I feel... I don't know. Yeah, actually, Cypress jumping is dumb. I think they are getting... I don't know. I just have need to get the right timing again. I, I already had the right timing figured out. Believe in me that believes in you. I'm trying. Uh, yeah, not the smartest idea to go for another wave while pressing on retry. Yeah, I have to go back to moving less. So obviously then this one can get me because I'm a little bit slow to get started on the moves again. Oh, focus. Wow, 
Why did I think the other attack would be coming? Less talking, more focus. Fucking god. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my. Yeah, this is the second phase. It gets a lot harder. It's actually super difficult for me to pay attention to the tornadoes, her attacks, and shooting fireballs at her. I got the feeling you deal more damage when you hit her head. Oh, really? Oh, shit. That could be. I feel hitting the fireballs is already difficult enough though. But yeah, it might be. It could actually be because uh, when we uh, tried to go for melee attacks, I actually did throw a fireball at our head, I think, and it did deal like 24 damage. Phew. Three out of 75, getting there, but getting surprised new mechanics, yeah. I don't even know how to hit her fucking head, to be honest. Maybe if I throw the fireball while jumping? I can try that. How? Honestly, I don't know. Do I have to cast before I jump? But then how do I dodge perfectly? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't feel like it can hit her head. Maybe it's just hitting her uh, middle body that deals more damage? That would make sense for me. I mean, it could be just her head, which would be insane. Yeah, again, that's when I, like, when I start jumping too early, I get punished so hard. Oh, that's like my brain taking over, right? I'm not focused, my brain is like, I know what's happening, I'm gonna jump already. The best is to jump last second. That's the best. It's like the perfect dodge mechanics in new gen games. But then this can happen, obviously. You jump too late. No, I don't think we get any additional damage from hitting her middle body because we already did that a few times and it didn't deal any additional damage.
<laughs> I jumped too early again. Cool. game this reminds me a little bit of? Alundra. That was a cool game too. And the fights were uh, mostly based on like gushing patterns too. How do I even dodge that? Do I have to jump over the tornadoes? Oh my god, I love Alundra 1 and 2. They had some crazy puzzles. Yeah, I love Alundra 2. I loved it. It's 27 damage on upper part for sure. Oh really? Did I hit it once, Varinor, actually? I mean, I'm not always paying attention to the damage I deal. Did I actually hit the upper part once? This part recalled, uh, recalls me of Illusion of Gaia's final boss. I spent hours against it and never succeeded. <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> no! We are gonna succeed. Obviously. Every time you spam it and jump while doing it. Yeah. I figured I have. that's what I have to do. The problem is just, um, if I do it intentionally, right? If the thing comes and I do it, like, I'm not sure if I can, like, time it to, like, spam and jump at the right time to do still dodge the incoming attack, if you know what I mean. That sounds really difficult to me, but uh, I'm gonna try. Yeah, good start. <laughs> oh, amazing start! Well... How do I- and how do I even aim them? Like, how do I shoot, dodge, aim? <laughs> I- I can't aim it and dodge. It's- it's impossible for me right now. Uh hmm. ah. I guess it's just gonna be a random thing. I don't think I can make it a uh, an actual strategy for me. Like, I can try if a new disc is incoming, obviously. Mm. Don't pay attention. Maybe if I start using it a little bit later... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I just need to do it a little bit later. Maybe. But I still think top priority is focusing on dodging the attacks. Yeah, jump too early. I don't like a bunny cosplay for this fight. <laughs> DLC incoming. And we still have to figure out how to deal with the second phase, by the way. Shit, jumped too early. Wow, really? I thought I dodged that. But yeah, the enemy even has a weak spot. Ah, oh, Sammy boy. I've actually no idea how to Fucking God. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm completely overwhelmed right now. <sighs> it's not impossible, it's just... Dodging the tornadoes and dodging the attacks is overwhelming me a little bit. At that phase right now still though every bus middle was start started like that too like we, we were overwhelmed of this at the start a little bit too so i guess and at least i am starting to be able to dodge all of it if i just focus though obviously because the fight fight takes so long i'm st there are still casualties sometimes in the stream uh, I actually have to go to the bathroom really quick, guys. I'll be back in a sec. If you enjoy the stream, please consider to drop a follow. Um, oh shit, I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, Alright. Okay. I'll be back in a sec. Um, Mr. Chur is gonna entertain you in the meantime. Um, oh. And maybe we actually go still for level 10. When, when we got the experience multiplier, level 9 wasn't actually that far away. So maybe we will just go and get level 10. I mean, the, the, uh, we still got huge of progress after getting to level 9, right? Because we consistently get now to the second phase. Maybe you should find out how to use your fireball mid-air. I already figured that out, out Verner, actually. Like, you can only use it mid-air, actually, if you uh, cast it first and then jump. But the first one actually is never, like, I... Okay, we're gonna load here anyway, because I think we should get to level 10, but... Um, like... If I do uh, jump fireball... It's... 
Like it's not at, as high. Actually, it's hard to see here, but it's not as high as I jumped. It's a little bit lower. It's not gonna hit her head. So many memories coming back from my failure at Illusion of Gaia. I maybe need to challenge it again to celebrate the 20th anniver anniversary of these vaults. Can you use both at the same time? What do you mean, can you use both at the same time? Uh, I kinda can. But the, the thing is... The second one hits lower, right? The other way is to... Uh, like, press and jump. Also, what's a little bit awkward about doing it this way... Like, only the first one really hits high. Uh, also, what's really awkward about... Um, the jump actually takes a little bit longer. I mean, let's go in and see, but I don't think this jump fireball is actually high enough, but like, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. It's only one, actually, it's, but maybe you're right and I have to actually go for the one. Yeah, yeah, and oh, you... No, I... Oh, can I jump higher by keeping... Okay, I can try that. Did I jump higher? Hmm. Well, we are playing on Nightmare Varinor. We're not playing on, like, we're playing on the hardest mode available, so... Did that actually hit her head? I'm just paying attention to, like, I feel like the fireball is too low to hit her head. The problem also is, even if I, like, I'm just focusing on the fireballs right now, by the way. Like, even if I, uh, hit her head, it's only one. And it's super hard to aim them, actually. That only ha hits her shoulder. Oh, it did actually. Okay, that one actually did hit her head. Alright, we're gonna try this. That like was too slow. Okay, yeah, I think this is the way to go. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. This is the way to go. While touching. Sometimes hitting her uh, for the for the full damage, really.
Yeah, I'm bad on the timing right now. Need to slow down a little bit again. I'm sometimes also too slow on throwing the fireball. Oh my god! I As soon as I start paying attention to the tornadoes, I don't pay enough attention to her arm movement. Yeah, I think we're gonna g uh, grind another level. Um, but you are right, this is the way to go. Also, I wanna know, do we jump? No. We jump the same height, no matter how I press it, if I keep it pressed or... Uh, like, the only way to get a little bit more of jump is to, to do this. No, actually, yeah. Like, in, but that only works forward. Do you remember how much it costs to upgrade the sword? Uh, to upgrade the sword, we need seven crystals. And we only have three, and I don't know where we get more. Uh, we can't grind much, uh, enough gold to get another... Um, I, though I think the next armor costs like 3,000. Oh, random drops, really? But we didn't find any more so far besides five that were in a chest, to be honest. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty... yeah. We only found five in a chest and that's it. Maybe not here. I don't want to fight them here. I want to take this spot. Or do I? The other spot was better that we had. I feel. I think those give us more uh, experience. Because we actually deal less damage to them, which means they have a higher level. how much easier the mobs are, but I guess the game's inviting you to grind easily. Hey, FP Sean! Nice to hear! Is this my item shop or whatever? What do you mean by that? Welcome, nice to hear again. You dropped me a follow yesterday, right? You're also a streamer. Followed you back, but didn't have the chance yet to check to check uh, you out. I don't know what you mean by is this my item shop? This is uh, Wise. I don't know if you're familiar with the Wise series. If you like playing JRPGs at all.
Hello? Sometimes after loading, it, I can't move uh, right away. Which actually also happens at the boss battle sometimes. That's very annoying. Because then uh, the boss gets the first hit for free. Also, we don't kill enough to keep our experience rate up. Yeah, let's go to the other spot we had. You have this game, I'm gonna check uh, for title lol, one sec. Oh, you do have this game? Uh, this is uh, an older um, wise. I think this was the spot we had before, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's uh, do this. It's actually not even that far away. We're just grinding one uh, level up here right now. That's why we're doing pretty repetitive stuff. No! Oh, it doesn't matter actually. Ouch. Uh, yeah, this is Oath, uh, uh, the Oath, uh, in Polgana, right? Um, yeah, it's actually, I, I never played any other Wise, so this is the first one for me, too. Um... Um, but yeah, we're having lots of fun and I decided to go for nightmare difficulty right on our first run to master it instantly, basically. Uh, uh shit, this sucks. Oh, that's the one you have? Nice. Yeah, I also did some research. Most people wrote you should start with this one, as also that's their favorite. Uh, so you always play open world RPG kind of games, Sammy? Uh, yeah, we mostly play RPGs. It's my favorite genre, but we also play uh, some adventure games, some jump and runs, some riddle games. Uh, I also love strategy games, to be honest, but uh, I just rarely stream them because I don't think it's that fun to watch them. Uh, but also all sort of story-driven games, like uh, later this month, uh, Detroit Human is gonna be released. I wanna uh, stream that too. And uh, Detroit Become Human. Hey, Cookie! Still here or again here? Oh, you fell asleep! I see, I see. Welcome back. I hope you had a good nap. Do don't, don't worry. Alright, half time. Luckily for you guys, uh, tomorrow and the day afterwards I have to work, right? So on Thursday is the next stream. Luckily for you, since that means I'm gonna do uh, more grinding off stream probably before we start on uh, Thursday. So you don't have to watch that on stream on Thursday too. So I do really hope, or I do really want to beat that boss today, because obviously I want to have some opportunity to have some better enemies to grind for us. Uh, 
uh, before uh, Thursday. <laughs> It'd be fun to watch you play soccer games. Did I miss something? I actually, I don't know, when did you fall asleep, Cookie? We had a struggle with the first boss game, earl, uh, boss battle earlier. I beat that, that was very glorious. And now we have str are struggling with the second boss battle, that's why we grind up to level 10. Fuck you, bad. You're not gonna be part of this, okay? Nobody likes you. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, I also just joined this recently, the orange bar above, uh, above our HP is the experience bar. <laughs> That's what we're working on right now. It would be fun to watch me play soccer games, really. I think soccer games are pretty boring. Uh, unless you... Megals! Thank you so much for the host! And a beautiful evening! Thank you so much, how are you doing? Um... Soccer games are uh, okay if you play them with friends, but I don't know. I think playing them alone is, is really boring. I'm sorry, but I'm not that interested in soccer anyways. Uh, I do, I'm very interested in table soccer because I used to play that professionally, obviously. Um, I'm interested in that. I would play the shit out of a table soccer game. <laughs> So, no, maybe actually not, because then I would rather play actual table soccer. I want to know if we actually got... No, we don't, didn't get any of those Aru crystals uh, from them. Boring? Yeah, boring. That's right. Soccer games, I consider them pretty boring. It's okay if you play them against friends. Uh, I don't know. But alone? Nah. But as I said, it's probably also because I'm not a huge fan of soccer. I mean, I, I don't think soccer is terrible. Like, I, I do also watch some uh, soccer games, right? But, like, uh, I don't know, it's not like the, uh, like, uh... I don't know. It's like an okay sport. And some games are, are interesting. But, like, if I've watched, like, all of these, like, zero zeros or one one oh i don't know like there's just not about enough action in the in, in watching soccer sammy's grinding experience there's nothing more beautiful okay we got it time to get back soccer cry every time hmm. We didn't find a single crystal. Fuck you, bats. Nobody likes you. So we got 11 HP for the level up. 
We're gonna see how much, if we deal more damage, if we maybe take less damage. Payback time? <laughs> No, I don't, Elgabati. No. Like, I I never went to a soccer match live, actually. Oh, no, that's not true. As a child, I did. But, like, ever since my life is in my own hands, I never did go watch a soccer match live. But I did watch, or, no, that's not the, like, in a stadium. Life is not the correct word. In a stadium. Um, but I did watch a few matches, like, with friends when, like, I don't know, there is the... World, world Championships or Europe Championships, stuff like that. I did watch, uh, do watch, t sometimes watch some matches. Let's see if this goes better. We deal 7 damage now, consistently. Oh, bitch! one to the hat. Try after grinding, this is actually not too bad. I just was, was just about to wonder. Oh. God. Okay, cool. Another new attack. 666 try, good luck. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, it's still I I still think it's doable now. She deals also less damage to us. Uh what I have to do is figure out how to move for the tornado, still pay attention to her hand moves, and if the, she like d does a break, I have to go back so I don't get hit by that AoE. Did we just deal 40 to her? No, I don't think so. I think that was just an illusion. I'm 
gonna th throw two at her because we have MP uh, left over the whole time. to see to be honest too early mm. okay so her hand movement does change from from this to just this so it comes faster and that's what uh, sets me off there with your last latest grinding, can't you upgrade your armor a little for the fight? No, because we need uh, crystals for that and we didn't find any crystals. We only have three. We need seven to upgrade uh, the, sh the sword or the armor. And the shield is already max, uh, max upgraded. The only thing we could do is grind more money because I think if we grind like 1000 more gold, we can get uh, a new piece of armor again. But I think a uh, thousand more gold is also a new level. You take solo damage, try to run into her and spam jump and fireball? You mean at the last phase, Fariner? Though the, the robots do uh, deal a lot of damage. Oh shit. My head was like, yeah, she's gonna do the other attack now. For whatever reason. You are right that her like throwing things don't deal that much damage to me anymore. Yeah, I could try that at the last phase. So we are gonna save some MP here. Ah, uh, out of MP! That was actually good that we were boosted. Why did I do that? No. The thing is I don't have enough MP to kill her there, even if I manage to like get like more than one fire even if I manage to hit all four fireballs to her head, I'm not gonna deal enough damage to kill her there. But I'm also getting better at dodging in the second phase, so I think we're good. Just need to grind this out a little bit.
It's also crazy how little time there was between this and the last boss fight. Like, how, sh how close those boss fights are to each other, right? But it's not like I'm complaining about it. Oh, the tornadoes! No! I should have known that this happens! Oh. Yeah, you're not even allowed to get close to a tornado. It totally destroys you. It totally destroys you. Like, I took like three times damage there from the one tornado. I'm a Triggered! Chill. Chill! That triggered me so bad that I got hit by that so unnecessarily. Being- getting triggered in the midst of a battle is like a really bad thing. Time to go for me, good luck. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, welcome once again. Oh my god, I need to figure, I need to focus. Finally enough, I don't deal more damage when boosted, but we do de uh, take less damage. Or maybe we do, since I think we just dealt more damage to the hat. I'm starting to jump too early. It's easy, obviously, if she throws these where the, uh, while I'm... Ah, no! No, 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 no! No, I didn't pay attention. No, that was so dumb. I thought I could run around it, but you can't. Uh, at this rate, I'm sure you will go uh, get her. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome once again. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I think we can get her too. It's just about like figuring that last phase out. Go!
Alright, second phase incoming. Oh my... Shit. Oh! Can I jump over the tornadoes? Hmm, if I can jump over the tornadoes, maybe then I can do better. Ah! Oh shit. Are you able to charge the fireball? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, I am. It just takes a while. Oh, you mean, yeah, maybe I can do that when she's uh, uh, creating a tornado, right? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna try that to do that when she uh, creates a tornado. took actually too much damage in this try. Yeah, let's actually go for a new one. I usually don't do this because... Um, funnily enough, some of the fireballs do hit her to the... Um, some of the fireballs, if I just stand in front of her, uh, do hit her to the face. I usually don't uh, concede with low HP because I can still go perfect, right? Um, though my strategy right now... <laughs> not sure we're gonna go perfect. That also explains why uh, the fireballs sometimes do head damage, even though I don't aim really aim them perfectly at the height they're supposed to. Ooh. Getting a little bit sloppy here. Sloppy. Unfortunately, my batches aren't bad, and uh, uh, otherwise we could watch my batches a little bit <laughs> to refresh the mind.
should keep my boost for the second phase, so I take less damage, probably. Stop using it right away. Not getting much hit in this phase anyways. Looks like you got a rhythm down. Yeah, I did do have a rhythm, but uh, sometimes I get sloppy and lose it, and then I'm getting hit multiple times. So it's bad. Wow, feels bad! <gasps> feels super bad! I just wanted to know how much damage it would deal. But yeah, I actually don't have enough time to charge it. How do I dodge that? I thought it wouldn't take damage if I'm like all the way at the start, but I still take the damage, so do I have to just jump at the right moment? Or do I have to be closer and then jump back? I think I have to be closer and then jump back. Okay, okay. Got this. It's also annoying that it takes we take so long to get to the second phase, right? Uh, I know that we can do it. I'm getting better with the second phase too. Uh, it's that was so unnecessary. Oh, don't get triggered, Sammy! No, 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 chill, chill. Like, that happens. I get hit once and I'm triggered and then I get hit a second time. Because I don't want to lose any HP in this phase. We're gonna uh, keep the boost. Ah, uh, shit. Oh. oh the thing is uh i know i can do it it's just so heartbreaking that this first phase always takes so long because like we struggled like this in the first phase too like it's just learning the second phase i can't move 
Sometimes it happens that after a load I can't move right away. Then she does get a free hit on us. Early. Hey Felix, a beautiful evening! How you doing? We're playing Vice! It's the very first Vice game I'm playing. And we're playing a Nightmare. Which means exciting 10 minute boss fights to die. Oh shit. No, I jumped into the tornado. <laughs> oh, that looks so trash. What's the original platform of this game? I don't remember the original one. I think actually it was... Uh, I don't remember the original one, but I, there was a re-release on PSP later on. Is the demon girl wearing a bra? I'm not sure. It looks so trash. No, it's not. It's really fun. Tales of Preseria second to last boss was still harder. Yeah, I know, Prince. I know. I do agree. I do agree. We're not we're not at the at the peak of our troubles. Actually in Tales of Preseria I also had to be a lot faster. But the difference is at that struggle we already played Tales of Preseria for so many hours that I was obviously also very a lot more skilled at the game. Original platform. Ah, we have a follow and I can't read it. I'm sorry, uh, but welcome and thank you so much for the follow Original platform is SNES or PlayStation 1. Yeah, I think it might be PlayStation 1 But I know there was a re-release on Play PSP You can also tell that I'm getting sloppy when the fireballs are lower. Means I'm not pressing the fireball button too, too uh, fast enough. Oh, stop jumping too early. Like... If you compare this to uh, God of War battle system, right? Oh my god, Sami, no! Like, honestly, it offers you all that the God of War battle system offers you too. <laughs> Reaction time, learning patterns. Maybe in God of War you have more uh, different combo attacks. Could be, yeah. That's it. And this is actually more challenging than... Ah, though, God of War on the hardest difficulty is 
chal very challenging too, so I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, don't... I'm sloppy right now. And I shouldn't be. survived because I had my boost. Oh, I'm getting worse right now. Focus is a little bit uh, worse right now. All right, uh, my butt is my butt is today uh, not working, so that's why usually I we get a message in chat to tell me. Uh, Igor Leveras. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry if it was very far off. Um, thank you so much for your follow and welcome to the stream. <sighs> All right, let's go. Bitch. No, I don't think she's wearing a bra, but she doesn't have any nipples, it seems. If that's what you're interested in, Felix. And this game also punishes you really bad for jumping at the wrong time. <laughs> really, really bad. Like, if the disc is coming higher and hitting me, it's because I jumped too early. Which sometimes happens if I don't focus, because my head is like, I know what's gonna happen, and it's trying to jump just in advance. Ush. I didn't pay attention. Bitch! Oh! I'm totally out of rhythm! No, 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 no! I still don't know how to dodge that one! I still don't know how to dodge that one, to be honest. Verna, do you have a hint for the AoE? We already tried jumping at the right time, but we still got damaged by that one. The only idea I have right now is get being closer to her and jumping back, basically, that that might work. It triggers me so hard when I get hit unnecessarily by that. Even though the luxury to get triggered about that is only because we did this fight already so many times. At the start I got hit by that all the time.
She does it faster! It's not fair! It's not fair! Oh! I actually dodged it. Don't remember? Oh, okay. So yeah, it's actually just a jump at the perfect time to dodge it. I thought I tried it before, but it probably wasn't perfect timing. Early. <laughs> oh. If I just jumped forward, I think we would have dodged it. Oh, Reculous! Hey! Nice to hear you. Beautiful evening. If it was just the second time, that would be amazing. That would be really skilled. Okay, mom. I'm gonna focus. I know I'm really quiet right now, but uh, to beat this, I am gonna need to focus. <gasps> Though in the first phase, though that's the thing, right? I, like, 
The first phase has become for rather easy to me. Uh, but yeah, I still, like, if I get sloppy, I still lose HP we need in the last phase. Hard if I jump too early. Yeah, thank you, Reculus. Get <laughs> Do you think we would come that far if we didn't figure that out already? <laughs> but thank you for the explanation. Well, I left to play some Witch and you're still on this bus. Yes, but we are a lot further, as you can tell, Brent. I can't move. Sometimes I can't move. It's like a lag the game has. I actually think it might happen if I wait a moment before I press retry. The uh, most troubling things is actually the tornado. The tornadoes are actually the biggest trouble. Because also the reach is sometimes a little bit strange and they deal the most damage. How many more tornadoes? Hello? Chill, chill, chill. Don't get triggered.
shit. Oh, jumped into range a bit. Old game bugs, hey! Nice to hear, welcome to the stream. Bloody hell, what an awful boss. Oh, uh, well. Don't know if it's awful. You obviously have to master the pattern. Oh, mm, feels bad. I mean, if we, as soon as we beat it, it's gonna feel very rewarding, at least. <laughs> Yeah, I lost some health there. Unnecessary. One can tell you've been uh, uh, you've been here for a while. Yeah. We 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 are we already have a few tries. <laughs> a few. A tiny amount uh, of tries. Of, uh, oh no, I, I can't even. I can't even talk anymore. Holy shit! It's absorbed me. But I really want to beat this today. Though it's also my own fault. We're playing on nightmare, so I chose this. It's too bad. The important thing is the um, tornado is way like getting hit by a tornado is way worse than getting hit by her uh, normal projectiles. Oh my god, the, the preemptive jumps feel super bad. You're dodging it so naturally it's become muscle memory by now. No, actually, okay. Actually, we're playing this game for the very first time and I decided to go Nightmare the very first time. Why did I decide to go Nightmare by the very first time? I like challenges, that's the first thing. And the second thing is... Uh, if you finish it on Nightmare, you actually unlock Inferno, so that kind of implied for me, okay, there's actually another difficulty to beat, um, so let's just go Nightmare and try it. Um, uh, but yeah, mm, I chose this fate myself. That's the way to go, normal mode is for babies, yeah. <laughs> I just like okay the thing is I just like even if we struggle here right and I know and I know there are people obviously probably really bored by watching me do this over and over and over again but like as soon as you manage to do it it just feels so fucking rewarding and I just know all that it takes me to finish this boss right now is to focus and not panic in the last mode. Also focus during the first mode to not, to not take unnecessary damage, uh, the first uh, phase I mean. And then in the second phase, uh, be focused and don't panic. Like, like that's literally it. And I do tend to panic if we get hit, yeah. If I do press retry only after a while, I actually can't move for a slight moment, so she, will, she always gets the first hit in. It's like a, a lag the game has. Yeah. 
to be honest, the first boss we had today, uh, the uh, stuff the boss did was harder to evade, but uh, it also had a lot less HP. It only had 280 HP. <laughs> this boss is like a true grind. That's what this boss is about. This is, by the way, the second boss in the game. <laughs> if you're wondering. <gasps> We're gonna uh, save the boost for the second phase, which we're close to. No! Oh my god. It's super bad. super close again rather get hit by that oh though this super su sucks super bad obviously I dodged it. <sighs> I don't know, I could play even more defensive in the last round, only throw fireballs uh, when there are no tornadoes. Don't you have a block button or is that shield? The shield is actually decoration, yeah, regulus. It's just for stats if there is no block. Looking at chat uh, will be... Uh, Looking at chat will be the death of you, which is probably nobody was trying anything and here I arrive mess messing it all up. Why? Why? Why do you think you're messing it all up? What? Oh, looking at it, chat will be death of you. Oh, because I... Oh, no. No, no, no. It's okay, old game box. It really is okay. There's always, like, uh, in between, like, two tries where I'm less focused, and then there's, like, uh, two tries where I'm more focused and doing better. Like, it's it's the normal flow of things, right? Uh, it's, it's not... It's not... Uh, <laughs> it's not your fault, really. If I want to focus, you're gonna uh, notice that. If I want to focus, I do focus and ignore chat. Like, tunnel mode is uh, uh, entering automatically. I mean, yeah, I am more focused if I don't uh, look at chat, obviously. <gasps> but don't worry. The tunnel visioning is strong in this one. <laughs> and this one means in my head as soon as focus is back. Uh, that's also part of it, right? In between I have some tries where I'm talking a little bit more, um, just mashing the buttons, uh, because actually being chilled while doing it is also part of it. Uh, that's how it actually 
That's how I act you actually start uh, putting it into your muscle memory. Like not being uh, scared of the attacks anymore or like just knowing what you do. It's kind of like I'm refreshing my mind by doing these like dry tries where I just talk a little bit uh, and do it half aware basically. And sometimes you do even do some stuff better half aware because you don't panic and let just your uh, brain do it basically. Though you will obviously um, be a little bit less focused. The perfect mode is focus tunnel visioning mode. Uh, still staying cool. And to accomplish that, I kind of need those uh, dry tries, to be honest. No. It's mean. Sometimes I think I am out of range for this uh, tornado, but I'm actually not. Like, that was very risky. Throwing that fireball could have meant uh, me running inside the tornado. I, I, I screwed by running into the tornado. I thought I wouldn't touch it. That's like the, the to that's why the tornadoes are so mean. I sometimes think I'm not in range, but I am actually in range. Bloody hell. It's also a little bit RNG because what she does in the last phase is obviously random. And if she does like a lot of the, her, what she does in the first phase, that's obviously easier for us. But yeah, the tornadoes also deal so much damage. So actually I should always pay more attention, I mean I already said that, I should always pay more attention to the tornadoes than the projectiles. It's just it still throws me off, because I do want to evade everything. I jumped a little bit too early again. If you jump too early, uh, the disc is gonna come higher and uh, it's gonna hit you most of the time. Also, yeah, if you get hit by the projectile, you might end up in a tornado. tornadoes fuck you stop it Shit. <clears throat> those combos are awful too yeah that's like uh, that's like the thing like if you get hit by a projectile it might uh, get you because you get staggered you might end up in a tornado and then you're pretty dead I 
I hate the tornadoes the most. I mean, you can tell it's random because, like, sometimes you just just like ten tornadoes in a row. Uh, it's the best when the boss keeps trying to kill you even after you're already dead. Yeah, true. Oh, you lost some health there too <laughs> due to reading shit. It's fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. The thing is, like, even like if this try is, isn't isn't any good, right? Uh, doing the second phase over and over is also an important part of it because uh, I will get more routine in doing it and I will also get more chilled, not panic, etc. Et because I'm like obviously a, w a lot more chilled when we do the first phase. Told ya, chat will kill you. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, it's a shared victory, right? So. Chat ha needs to have its part in it. Oh my god. It's fine. We're just gonna perfect it after this. What? I. No! Oh my. Oh my fucking god. I fucked so bad up. Oh, oh. I pressed actually attack instead of jump. Happens to the best of us. Was for me bragging. <laughs> yeah, I get it, game. I get it, game. I will not brag again. Instant karma detected. <gasps> I would actually be interested in knowing what's the recommended level for this boss. We are level 10 and we already had to grind for that a little bit. Like we did a little bit of grinding. Also looking at how little damage the projectiles do, I think we're actually at the... Uh, I think we are pretty much at the level we should be. Um, it's just nightmare difficulty, that's all. And it's an old game. God damn it, bitch! Stop throwing them into the air! Oh no! Fuck. We actually only survived. Because I used the boost there.
No, I jumped too early! <gasps> oh. Hey, that was the way to make your money worth it. Make the bosses so damn hard you spent hours trying to kill it. This game is about 30 hours long. Of course it is. You spent at least 10 hours on the same fucking boss. <laughs> oh. I actually think this is a pretty long game. Did you play any of the Vice games, old game box, or is this a uh, first for you seeing this? You did better this time around? Yeah, I agree. I just have to start being sloppy in the first phase. It just sometimes goes the brain AFK if you do the same shit over and over again. That's what I mean by this boss is a fucking grind. Can't wait when we uh, get below 200 HP and unlock a third phase. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Oh, too early. take my time sometimes to like take a little glimpse at chat by the way <laughs> even if you don't write anything I'm still distracting myself by looking at chat though not in the second phase to be honest in the second phase I'm oh my god oh let's look at that I thought, yeah, okay, now I was salty. I thought I could uh, run around it and I couldn't. <laughs> I, did a, I did a lot worse this try. I played the old ones on PC Engine and such, but it was so long ago I didn't remember anything. Oh, cool. Yeah, um, there are like the Chronicles, right? Uh, those are the remakes. Maybe those are the ones you played because that's like the remake of one and two. How many times now I was AFK? I have no idea, Reculus. I didn't count. And it doesn't matter. All that matters is that in the end we are gonna do it. In times of this, I think of Tales of the Zurier. That were our biggest boss struggles. Okay, maybe I'll also think a little bit of Boshi. That were our biggest struggles on stream. It took a lot longer. And it looked a lot uh, more impossible. That's what you have to keep in mind. up with the fucking tornadoes.
Such a dually! No! Shit, shit, shit! I was greedy! I was greedy! I thought I could squeeze in another fireball! No! Oh, that was actually pretty good. Ah. One HP low? Well, almost one HP. There's still another one and another two, but yeah, yeah, close to one HP. Oh, I was on 1 HP? I didn't even pay attention. Was I? There's always one disc I fuck up in the early phase. Okay, a second even. the first time she started with that one. Super bad. Uh, I think you need a German beer to relax. <laughs> uh. It's just the panic, really. I'm panicking because I'm getting close and then I'm making mistakes where I don't have to make mistakes. I'm actually gonna go to the bathroom really quick. If you uh, enjoy the stream, please consider to drop a follow. Uh, Mr. Beer is gonna um, is gonna. Uh, no, not Mr. Beer. <laughs> Reculous, the influence. No, Mr. Chair is gonna entertain you in the meanwhile. I'm gonna be back in a sec.
Uh, hey, <laughs> Seth. No, I was just, I was just at the bathroom. Artsy. I was going to say I don't see Mr. Beer at all. Hey, how you doing? Long time to see. <laughs> 160 HP. Oh, she's mad. Oh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've been busy with life. That's fine, Artsy. Don't worry, I'm so happy you're tuning in. I hope you're doing great. Obviously, you don't have to apologize or anything. I'm just happy to see you. Anytime. Alright. Easiest boss fight in my life. I don't know when you left, but we actually figured out that if you hit the head, you deal more damage. So... You can already see we have a new strategy going on here with the damage dealing than I think when you were last here. Basically, the, the first phase has become easy mode as long as I stay focused and don't get too cocky. Uh, yep. Like that, for example. What? Starting to jump too early again. No! Oh my god. It's okay, it's the first try after coming back. She would do the other attack. Why? Why did I think that? Mm, feels super bad. Yeah, okay. That was a shitty first try. Also, been avoiding your stream slow because I played games where I would spoil you, Artsy. Is that the reason you avoided my streams? About 7 damage on the body and 25 damage on the face. Um, yeah, 7 damage on the body, but I think actually on the face it's more. At least I've already seen like around, yeah, that was like 40 damage. It, it, it varies, it varies. Uh, most of the time I think it's around 30 damage. Maybe I'm just, uh, my eyes are bad actually, so it might be that I'm like, uh, not reading it wrong, uh, not reading it right that way around. Shit. 
A true grind boss. My brain wants to go AFK doing the same stuff over and over. But as soon as it goes AFK, I fuck up. Oraculus, by the way, did you play any Vice game? Oh my god, oh my god, I hate when that happens. Shit. No, 2 HP? Are you fucking serious? I didn't even look at the HP to chill down. No, are you serious? I didn't even know how close it was. Oh, cruel. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. It's only close if it's at 1 HP, guys. Okay? It's all good, nothing happened. Oh, Pretty much, it's like you're reading my mind every time I see a playing game that I'm currently playing as Turcher. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Yeah, I was, uh, I think you're right, 30 sometimes, 29, I'm squinting to see the numbers too. <laughs> I played a little bit of the first one, but I haven't finished it. Oh, okay, I see. Rage? It's not really rage, it's just like, oh no, oh no. I like, like, it didn't, I didn't, I, I on purpose didn't look at the HP. Because I was like, no, focus, focus, focus. Because if I look at the HP and I see it getting smaller, I, I, I start to panic or do risky attacks even though. So it was the right move to not look at it, but now seeing this. <gasps> you think it's rage? No. How's this rage? I didn't rage, no. Do you? Okay, do you? Uh, does it sound to you aggressive? It's more like, uh, oh shit! Like it's it's a it's a mix of excitement that we managed to do it until two HP, and uh, a mix of uh, never lucky. 
you know? Like a little bit of salt maybe, but like it's also a mix of positive excitement. So it's a, a pretty much a 50-50 feeling because I am I am very I'm very excited that we managed to get it to 2 HP. Um, but I'm also a little bit sad that we uh, that we actually failed there. This is the closest to rage and I love it. Really? Oh, 2 HP. All right. Okay. Come here, bitch. By the way, if you're wondering, there are no uh, there are no healing potions in this game. <gasps> like there are heal drops from mobs. If you fight mobs, they are dropping health for you. And I think you're also getting healed. I'm actually doing a terrible run right now. Uh, they are actually. Um, I think you also get healed at the save point. I'm not 100% sure, but I think. Okay, don't... Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I personally would have quit right there. Really? Why? It shows you that you're capable of doing it. Okay, that again. Sometimes I can't move at the start of the battle. Maybe it's my controller. I don't know. Though it would be very specific then, because it only happens at the start of the battle, so it's probably an issue with the game. Maybe a lag or something. I'm gonna do a close, uh, a quiet try here, I mean. Trying to get focus a little bit better going again. Because the last try was really unfocused. But yeah, you're right, it seems to be 30 most of the time. And 40 is probably a critical hit, because I'm pretty sure I've also seen a 40 already.
Ooh, I thought that was too early. What? Yeah, Brent, I am. Brent, if you're if you're if you're reacting like that, you didn't watch me play Tales of Berseria. These garbage attacks like half a second more window. I wouldn't put it past an old title. Also, is this uh, multi Motoy Sakuraba music? Okay, it's not. Almost sound like a geometric cult, yeah. You had like three comp matches? Yeah, congratulations. But we got the boss actually, and that's the saddest thing. Uh, we actually had the boss on 2 HP, Brand. Chat! God damn it. At least I will be able to say, hey, I beat this boss and was still looking at chat. At Nightmare. First playthrough. Totally worth it. I like how it's still attacking. The only attack this must have is the little fireballs. No, we do have melee attacks too, but we can't reach it. We already tried that. Like, if you run up to the front, you don't reach it with your sword. So, yeah. Right now, our only attacks are the fireballs. 
<laughs> yeah, I got a little panicky, friends. That's why we lost it. You're right. Yeah, this game got uh, released later on PSP too. And yeah, I can't, <laughs> I can't imagine controlling that. Oh shit! It's also like, uh, it looks easy now, but like at the start, we would miss all our fireballs. We're still missing a lot, but like it's it's gotten a lot better. It's still more important to uh, evade than to uh, aim the fireballs, obviously. What's strange is sometimes even fireballs that hit low count as hatchets, I have a, I have a feeling. No! Jump too early! <sighs> I think you get more uh, more damage if you're in one of the two boxes or squares? Really? I have to go to bed. Cry. Uh. I actually gotta head out, I don't know if I just fit fatigue kicking in from all walking with a frail little body but I'm just feeling kinda heavy and sore. No problem, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, the tornadoes are the worst. Okay, which squares do you mean though? Oh, those? Really? No. No. If that was the case, that would have been a more damage attack. I think uh, it's really just uh, hitting her high, middle. Oh my god, I'm fucking up this one so bad because I started already just figuring out if the squares do anything. I'm most of the time on that square. Oh. Wait, what, what, what I can do? No. Wow. Okay. Did that deal more damage? No. 
It's a, it's a, it's a, it's just a try to try that out. <laughs> All right, Prince. Have a beautiful day. See you. They even dealt less. They only dealt six, six damage, which is, I think, just like the variety you have. Sometimes one can just deal six. Maybe go up to the front and try that uh, new attack. Which new attack do you mean? You mean the fireball? We already did that. It's just the same. Like we, we tried already uh, fighting her when we're at front. It's just the same. If you hit her head, you will get the same damage. You rapid fire thing? Oh, that's not a new tech. I can always do that. Uh, it's just if I, I just, yeah, this try is pretty over. Okay, come on. If this try is already over, I can... Okay, I'm not even getting close to her. But we tried already getting close to her. This is not a new tech. The rapid fire is just the fireballs we, we do also usually. Uh, it's the same. Like, I can also do this. Uh, I'm just usually not doing it. Uh, because uh, we will run out of, out of uh, SP most of the time if I do it all the time. Also, the second one can't hit her head anyways. But I can throw multiple. Also, it takes some more time, which messes with, with my rhythm of the fight. See, now we're out of SP. And the thing is, if you're out of SP or MP, I don't know what it's called in this game, um, it recharges slower. So that's why I at some point just started only using one at a time. All right. <laughs> this try is probably for not to, since I was not very focused. just gonna use this try to chill a little bit but you're right we can spam a little bit more fireballs when we like spam some at her at the start oh ouch really did it. You are right. Actually, thank you for reminding me because I, I didn't do it in the first fight earlier because it always would throw my timing off and the second one wouldn't hit head anyways. Also, we would run out of MP. <laughs> but actually, I wanted to use it in the second phase, especially when she uh, throws her tornadoes out where there's like a little bit of time. <sighs> thank you. We did it. Oh. No, fuck this. I'm just gonna run back to the save point as quick as I can. <gasps> I'm not gonna check out the platform, fall into water and die. Oh, okay. Well, what are you doing here? You don't listen very well. I believe we handed down a royal edict to close the quarry, didn't we? If you'd just done as you were told, you, would, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. So spare me the lecture, just do as Lord Maguire asks. Y you... I'd wondered what had become of you, but I'd never imagined. This is Chester! This is totally Chester, the, the brother that disappeared, that vanished. I, I said earlier, hey, did he maybe turn evil? 
You aren't really working for Count McGuire, are you? Oh, but I am. I'm a devoted knight in service of the great Lord McGuire. Therefore, I'll thank you to keep a respectful tone when you address me. Who goes there? You aren't from Redmond. What business have you here? Edel gave his name and explained the circumstances for his arrival in Falgana. A friend of Doggy's? <laughs> I never thought he'd come back, and certainly not now. No matter. Lord McGuire's orders were explicit regarding the closure of the quarry. If you've come to lead this old man out of here, then I suggest you do so immediately. Wait, what about Eleanor? Or do you even care that she's been worried sick about you? She doesn't even know if you're alive or dead. I've grown wary of playing nursemaid. She's 17, she's old enough to cope without her big brother. You should tell her to forget about me. Hell, coming from you, she might even do it. Ah, but where are my manners? It would seem I've forgotten to introduce myself. I am Chester Stoddard, a high-ranking knight in service of Falgana's lord, His Grace Count McGuire. Adel, was it? As an adventurer, I know you may be tempted, but I advise you not to get involved in our politics. That is, of course, unless you're eager to die. I knew it. That that missing Chester guy would turn out to be evil. Count McGuire is the Lord of Falgana. Though he's not native to this land, he's actually from Rome. From the moment he took power here, he levied, uh, Le Levite? Oh my god. I I've never seen that word, actually. Exorbitantly high taxes and pressured us into forced labor. Then, a few days ago, he ordered us to shut down Tigre Quarry, the town's primary source of income. Naturally, we refused, since he gave us absolutely no reason. And that's about when you showed up. Okay, beat the boss on Inferno right now. <laughs> but then we would have to start over. But yeah, we did it. To think that Chester would willingly serve a man like that, what could possibly be running through his head? He left his little sister behind too, and she hasn't heard a word from him in months. Honestly, I have a hard time believing it. Even now, knowing what I know, I keep thinking it can't be true. And what am I supposed to do? Just tell Anna to try and forget about him? I couldn't possibly agree to that. I'd never be so callous. No. Uh, Elena? How long have you been listening? I, I heard you made it home from the quarry and that you were hurt. So I, I thought I'd stop by to check on you. And I overheard your whole conversation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we just beat it actually, Dr. Mo. We just beat it. Uh, I'm sorry. So Chester, the missing guy, do you remember Dictamo? I don't know if you were around actually. Where I said like the, her brother, where I said like, oh, oh, is, has he has he turned evil? He actually turned out to be the evil knight, the evil blonde-haired knight, Elena. How did you deal 800 damage? Time, Dr. Mo, with time. <laughs> How long were you gone? We just beat the boss. What is the correct answer? It was time. It's good to know Chester's alright at least, but that's little consolation right now. Ever since they were orphaned 12 years ago, those two have really watched out for one another. Up until about three years ago, they lived at my house and I'd always put Chester in charge whenever I was away. I figured it would teach him to be a responsible young man, though honestly, I never did get the hang of raising him. Edel, could I persuade you to look in on Eleanor for me? Right now, I think she might find it easier to open up to an impartial third party. <laughs> the people are, are so easy to trust us and give us, like, some tasks here. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, you deal more damage if you hit the head, Dr. Mo. So what we had to do was jump fireball. But that didn't like make it like a ton easier. Like it obviously made the fight go a little bit faster. Uh, we also leveled up. We also uh, beat it on level 10 now. Our very first try was on level eight. Um, so we leveled up 
At the very first try we only dealt 2 damage with our, uh, every hit, right? And now with level 10 we dealt 7 damage with every hit. Uh, yeah, but I didn't, Werner, I actually didn't manage to charge the fireballs. There was not enough time to charge it. Um, so, I actually don't know how much damage that would have dealt. Did you save before the boss? Um, yeah, I did save before the boss. Do you want to see it again? I'm gonna run to the save point here first. That one is before the boss. No, it's okay. You didn't even notice? Okay, so yeah, what we did was... Uh, wait, let's go in the next area, then I can show you. Um, basically, you have to do this one. To hit the head. But on we only... Like, you don't hit it all the time, obviously. Um, because on the head, it actually deals 30 damage. Uh, if we hit the body, it dealt 7 damage. It was still a long grind, the battle. I mean, you can watch it at the, in the bot. But yeah, it is funny that you're right in time. Definitely. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh. I actually want to check if the 2,000 gold are enough to buy anything new. Adol, might I see that bracelet you've got there? I consider myself something of an expert when it comes to old jewelry and knickknacks. Oh, okay. And you, this is no ordinary bracelet. It's an etched artifact with innate elemental energy trapped inside. Did you fit this little gemstone inside it yourself? You've got a good sense. Gemstones like these help increase the bracelet's power by magnifying its energy. Anyway, thanks for letting me fill up your jewelry. You really stumbled onto something special. Take good care of it. No, the next thing we can buy is the plate mail for, uh, 3,500. Oh, the large shield is really close, though. Yeah, we should get this one next. But still missing a few, um... Oh, wait! No. Okay, 30 is still better than 2 in the first time. Yeah, but as I said, it's only the hits on the head, but yeah, we, uh... I don't know how many I hit on the head, to be honest, because I focused more on dodging than on how much damage I deal. I think sometimes I actually did hit quite a few. Like, I found a good spot on the in the middle where I was able to hit quite a few to the head. Uh, yeah, he told us to go talk to Eleanor. So let's visit Milady. Set music. Oh shit! That looks really cute. Chester. Edel. I'm sorry, I've just got a lot on my mind. My brother gave me this pendant. He left it here in a letter for me on the day he vanished. I guess it makes me feel closer to him when I wear it. But in reality he was closer than I ever realized all this time. I'm so sorry, Edel. So many horrible rumors have been going around about my brother. And then to hear the man who raised me confirm them all. I just want to know what's happening and why. He must have a reason, right? Maybe I'm being selfish. I should just be grateful he's alive. In a way, it's like a weight I've been carrying for the last six months has been lifted from me. I may not know what's going on through his... I might not know what's going through his mind just yet, but I do know that if I could talk to him, just talk to him, then things might go back to normal. So don't worry about me, I'll be okay. Thank you for your concern, Edel. I really do appreciate it. We didn't say a single word. So, what Father Pierce said was true. He mentioned that he'd caught sight of a man who looked like my brother in front of the ruins to the northeast. That's where I was heading when he found me. I went out to see if I could catch sight of him myself. Oh, that's probably the place we're gonna go next. 
Why would he want to go to such a ghastly place, though? So we're probably not supposed to go there yet. Probably. Hmm. Our friend should return soon, right? Where did we talk to the mayor, by the way? It's like Zelda, he never talks, yeah. Yeah, Brent, I killed the boss. I did. Uh... Hmm. Actually, this guy's new. Oh, what to do, what to do. With the quarry closed, I never get my hands under any river roar. My vessels will all drop me and I'll be ruined. I don't look forward to the mountains of depth that await me when I get back to Rome. Failure. Thy name is Antonio. But wait, you're the type that people randomly send on quests, aren't you? Please, sir, sell me some rebel ore. If you can find me just enough to keep my beggars from breaking my kneecaps, I'll buy it from you at top gold. What do you think? An irresistible offer, no? I swear I'll pay handsomely. You have to spend money to make money. After all, just ten pieces. Ten pieces of rebel. Hmm. So he wants ten pieces of rebel from us? Right now I wouldn't give it to him. Ah, there we go. It just bothers me that you had to fight such a huge creature, to say nothing of it having that evil-looking statue in its possession. I have to wonder if the statue may have been what McGuire was after when he shut down the quarry. Probably. By the way, do we still have the statue? We do. Hmm. Oh wait, if this is active now, doesn't that mean it's probably bound to a button? I think I tried everything. First try. Yeah, it was totally first try, guys. And first playthrough, nightmare, first try. Right? That's what it was. Wait. Uh, hmm. I'm actually supposed to just go to those ruins. What about you? Will you not talk to me? You went to the quarry, didn't you? That, that bridge. Did you see the collapsed bridge? Oh god, never mind. Just pretend I didn't say anything. Please, leave me be, won't you? Okay, we're getting a little bit more of information. Probably she's uh, after that amulet that's on the other side. Uh. You actually went into the mines? The scary monster infested mines? All by yourself just to rescue our mayor? <laughs> it's like you're some kind of mythical hero from a storybook. Your name is Edo, right? I hear you're one of those sword-wielding adventurer types who go around saving the world. Doggy certainly has good taste and best friends, it seems. He's always spouting nonsense and playing practical jokes on people. I just don't know what to do with him. You're right, where is Doggy? Oh, you knew too. Heh! <laughs> I guess I was wrong about you, mister. You really saved the mayor. Man, you must be super duper strong. He's not here right now, but Chester was super duper strong like that too. You gotta tell me sometimes how you beat the monsters. Promise to tell me, Mr. Edel. Oh shit, okay. Action in the church. Yeah, Sammy's just too good. Hmm. This has become quite serious indeed. Why would Father Pierre go to such a place? Please, forgive me. I should have tried harder to stop him. Alright. This looks good. My, my, such blazing red hair. You must be Edel. I've heard murmurings about you amongst the townsfolks. My name is Nicholas. I'm head of the Falgana Diocese. I was also the town's priest until three years ago. Now I serve at the castle while Father Pierre enlightens the town. 
I still drop by from time to time, though. Old habits do die hard, as they say. I fear, however, that my visit today may be a bit less trans transient than usual. An account of Father Pierce's abs an account of Father Pierce's absence. <laughs> hey, old game, welcome back. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We did beat it. Old game box, we actually, before we beat the boss, we actually got the boss down to 2 HP and after that still needed like 5 more tries or so, I don't know. Or t like it might, might, have been e might have even been 10 tries or something like that. That, uh, <laughs> that was very sad. Mm. Are you familiar with the Ilburn ruins to the northeast of here? They are the remnants of a temple used by practitioners of a pagan religion from a long lost era. It would seem that Father Pierre has taken it upon himself to visit that temple for purposes unknown. It's unsafe in every regard. There is a dormant volcano behind it, which has recently become active anew, and popular rumors suggest the place is infested with monsters of all shapes and sizes. All the more reason for concern. One cannot help but feel the worst. Adel. Adel Christine. They say you're the one who rescued Mayor Edgar from the quarry. Is this true? Given your considerable skill, might I humbly request you undertake another such mission to find Father Pierre? Sure. Such selfless courage. On behalf of the church, you may have my deepest gratitude. I believe you will be needing this. Ruins key. The Ilburn ruins are just off the road to the northeast of here. This key opens the access gate. Please do whatever you can to ensure the safety of Father Pierre. May God be with you. Fight well, adventurer. Oh shit, old game box. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome once again. All right, we finally got our new quest going. If he jumps, his his arms look so tiny. He kind of looks like a, 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 a he's looking like he's wearing box uh, gloves, boxing gloves. Not box gloves, <laughs> whatever that might be. So, Doctor Mo, do I have to keep this for you? No, you can just check out. You can just check out the. You can just check out the bot if you're interested in how the fight went. Wait, northeast would mean this way, probably? I don't remember actually. I know we already were at that gate. But I would think it's this direction then. Yeah, this looks right. You don't have to keep something from me. I know I don't have to. <laughs> ding, ding. Damn, I hate flaying enemies. Ouch. Oh shit. They drop onto you from above. Only flying enemies! Oh, okay, okay. I noticed in time that it's gonna explode. I hate flying enemies, I fucking hate them. Oh shit, really? They do that much damage to me. Oh fuck. <laughs> 
Okay, I didn't notice. Why, uh... Will this game stay solo game? I don't know, actually, but it might be. I have no idea. Maybe. Could be. I know that the new wise is not solo, like you do get party members. Could imagine both, actually. Fucking hate flying enemies. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Oh my god, the damage they deal is actually insane. I didn't notice that last time because, like, the last time we had mobs, it was like really no nothing to be concerned about. So yeah, we have to play this a little bit more careful again, in this area, obviously. Yes, have I killed her? Yeah, I guess it means like if there are gonna be party members, like that's a, those are two questions. Are there gonna be party members? Or are we gonna be able to play the other party members too? When you started, I was I had to make dinner. When you started, I was having lunch. <laughs> yeah, nice. Thank you for telling me. Oh my god. Wow, they pushed me back into it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run back, try to survive running back. I just did that so I'm not gonna I'm not dying on the effect. I think by because I think I got like a good amount of gold there. Ah, holy shit, okay. Yeah, new new area, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit rough. Um, okay, we still need... Uh, oh, actually, we do have enough. Yeah, let's get the new shield. We do have enough money now to get the new shield. Then we have a higher defense. Don't feel bad. No, I don't feel bad. It's okay. It's okay. I can I can live with it. I, f I still feel good about beating it. In original, you can choose between two or three chests, but you run around alone solo. Okay, I see. No, the way back is over here. By the way, did we get a level up from... No, we still level 10. That bitch boss didn't even give us many experience. Like, look at that. Holy shit. Like, on the first boss, we got, like, two level ups. And this bitch boss, like, it, like the bar... It's the bar above the HP. This tiny, tiny red bar. There we go. A 
Apparently we can't uh, sell items in this one. Oh, because it's fixed slots and apparently there is a another shield I missed. And yeah, the shield is only decoration. Which is also a little bit ridiculous, <laughs> hilarious. Like they could, they could have done, like they could have chosen another item than a shield, to be honest. So hopefully that will uh, decrease the damage a little bit, though I, I do think new areas will always be a little bit rough at the start. I hate flying enemies. They are so annoying to deal with. Hey, bitch. Stop running. Okay, it only dealt five damage to us. It does seem not like like not much. I don't know. Oh yeah, this deal dealt 24 damage to us before I think. Fuck those, to be honest. Uh, though we do need experience. Well, we can just yeah. I hate flying enemies. <laughs> The blood stain over there, holy shit. But yeah, this is a lot better with the new shield. Yeah, fuck, fuck flying enemies. So many of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ouch. Do we at least get a little bit of experience? Doesn't look like much though. But yeah, it's fine. They don't deal much damage to us anymore. Um, what did I want to check actually? Alright, Varinur, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful evening. And um, by the way, for, uh, for you for your information, if you want to tune in again tomorrow and the day afterwards, uh, I'm working, so I'm gonna be back on Thursday. Tuesday and Wednesday usually no streams. doesn't even drop anything. Wait. This looks as if you're supposed to light that.
What? Did it just teleport? It did. This has certain. This has all of a sudden become a side scroller. Oh shit! 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 Oh. Okay, let me figure this out. I think. Or maybe. There we go. And now? Now what? What's that for? Just to pa pass those enemies? Wait, how do we get there? Do we do we find a skill later to get a to get to pass that? Possibly. I'm just waiting to see if it actually drops anything, but it seems like those never drop anything. Oh shit, okay. Oh, I see. Wait, what? Hello? I can't deal damage to them? Oh, I have an idea. Oh my god! No! Don't go back inside! Oh. I'm doing it too fast! become difficult for me. Oh, I see. I also deal damage to it if I hit it uh, not from the front. It's become difficult for me to do this one because I have to do it slow. Like if it's if I do it fast, it's this one. Oh shit. Oh shit! What are you bitches? Okay, cool. Easy to beat bitches. No, fuck you. With that, we can upgrade an item, tr uh, tr like two items once. Though, it doesn't increase our attack or our defense that much, but still, cool. Actually, I might just uh, leave this and see what's coming here. Okay. 
Well, we did light it. Oh, okay. More to light. Really? Okay, there we go. Can we make that distance? Oh, we can. No! If I have to, I fail the jump, obviously. While in battle, I always do it too quick. Oh my fucking god! Break that shit first. Hey monster, nice to hear. You're actually too late. I died for a long time today. Oh shit, I can do it with normal jumps? Wow, killed super bad. Oh game, please. By the way, this place is huge! Still want my one gold, okay? Oh, cool! Okay, cool! Oh my fucking god! If you get motion sickness in a room, it's this one. Please heal me. Shit, we're so dead. Actually, what's this? Permanently raises permanently raises max HP. Are you kidding me? Give me. By how much? By by was it by four or something? Shit, we have to make it out of here. Without... Stress. Oh, 
It charges fast if you're low HP, the boost. Oh, we didn't die. We got out with the ores, with the gold, with the level up. <laughs> All right, let's see. I mean, we don't have enough gold to buy anything uh, vital, but we can go back and upgrade our shit a little bit. Wait, is this actually the way back? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Whew. Oh wait, we can actually save and check out how much money Moog would get for giving him the 10 ores. If it's actually a lot of money, we might take it to get some new equipment. I'm just gonna load if it's like not worth. Or let, let's first check how much the upgrade gives uh, stat vice. Plus two, plus one, plus one. Okay, it's not a lot. Hmm. Well, this way, oh, this guy. Around here? Oh, around here. There we go. Oh, hey look, like you've stumbled upon some rubble or you will be willing to summon the hangs of it for 500? No. 500 gold is not worth it. We won't be able to buy anything new with 500 gold. <laughs> not even close. Like, the shit is so expensive. Expensive. Look at this. The next thing we can buy is this, the plate mail. So probably won't upgrade our um, our armor. All right. Then I guess we're gonna upgrade our sword. We can upgrade two more, so I think we're gonna upgrade... Wait, let me actually check for that, uh, what's gonna be come after the... Yeah, the shield is gonna come after the next mail, so... Yeah, I think we're just gonna upgrade our uh, sword again. And then fine, we're up gonna upgrade. Oh shit! It costs 30 revel to upgrade this shield? Wow, that's actually out of question. Yeah, we're not gonna upgrade this uh, mail anymore because we're close to be able to afford the new one. Back we are! Alrighty! 
But I think that shall be it for today. I'll have to work tomorrow. So it's time for me to wrap up the stream. Today we did one long stream instead of two short stream because I had technical issues actually to get the game to run. And also um, I have to work tomorrow, so it's not that great anyways. Um, so yeah guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for ha hanging out if you're new to the stream and enjoyed the stream please consider to drop a follow um i'm gonna be back on thursday tuesday and wednesday no streams my um bot is actually not running today it's like i have to i don't know uh it's had issues today connecting to twitch um but the schedule can be found below also if you want to stay in touch uh discord is linked below i'm always active on the discord on the day so i'm not streaming which is tuesday wednesday i'm gonna be back on thursday um also you can follow on twitter if you want to i'm announcing streams there too um thank you so much for watching and see you guys on thursday bye bye by the way i really enjoyed the game and i'm so proud we made it i'm probably gonna do a little bit of grinding off stream um so i don't have to do that on stream bye bye